up, members? Welcome back to, uh, I don't even know what day it is, but we are out doing some ice fishing again. Myself and Porn Stash, Nicole, the camera guy. And today, we're hitting a brand new lake we've never been to before. It's right at the base of some beautiful daggum mountains, and the wind's not blowing 97 today, so we're happy about that. This lake actually has a species, though, that is very, very rare. Rare species of fish that I've never caught before. Porn Stash never caught before. And we're going to go try to catch it before. Maybe. They're kind of hard to tell. Yeah, we have There's no freaking idea. Three different types. Three there. different types. We looked online, it's supposed to be biggins in here, and it's like a damn farm pond. It's not even big. Uh, we might even cut a giant sight fishing hole. We're probably gonna do that, to be honest. But first, we need to make sure the ice is safe, and then I think we're gonna set some jaw jackers, get those going, and see where we should set up that sight fishing hole, because obviously, we wanna be in a fire ice fishing hole spot. Let's go see how thick it is. Holy shit, you're right, Cole. You can see the bottom. You can see the bottom through the ice, and we ain't even close to the bank. But we did walk over there. Josh hit it with a spud bar once and water's coming up out of it, so. Be a little careful today, maybe. Maybe. Yep, there's the bottom. All right, first step. We got safe-ish ice, we got about three inches. Super nice, black, beautiful ice in like two spots of the entire lake. The rest of it's total garbage, like this disaster right here. We're gonna set these jaw jackers though. I, it'd be cool to catch a couple of these species, a couple of these fish of this species before we even set up the hut. But sight fishing hole could be pretty epic today if we get to a point where we feel comfortable enough with the ice in the area because you can see the bottom through the damn ice. It's crazy. Um, three quarter ounce Rapala jigging wraps, chatter baits, stuff like that. Definitely chatter baits. A lot of chatter baits today, I think. Here, let me see if I'm ready. All right, I'm warm. First bell of the day won't be the last. I'm freaking, I mean, I'm fired up. I like fishing, guys. Kind of want to go out deep. I don't think it matters, but. Oh, we got one. Ben, get any? Feels big. Feels big. Is it an ultra rare one? I don't know if it's one of the ultra rare ones. It definitely doesn't feel bad. Got some weight to it, but. Wade? Uh, yeah, Wade. They said the average is 20 inches. We are planning on keeping some today, but this is considered a trophy lake and the regulations are two, two over 16. Two over 16 yep. We won't keep any of the rare species. I'm eating <laughs> ultra rare. Uh, dude, I'm just glad we got a fish. I was kind of starting to wonder if we're in the right spot at all, but. He slammed it. I don't think it matters, man. We'll explore a little bit, but. I can't like it tell what it is. on its tail. I can't tell what it is. It almost looks like a brook. I don't know. Obviously we have no idea. We better just stop speculating. Brook. How do you know? Her name's Brooke. I don't even know if there's Brooke trout in here. Oh, dude, it's a crappie. Big crappie. <laughs> You're gonna have to come up with a new fish to call thing. It's getting old. <laughs> Pallid sturgeon coming in hot. Oh, it's oh, a big that's a rainbow. Big, that's a cool one, man. Yeah, it's a pretty one. pretty one. I don't know if I can kill that one. You can, there's plenty. First fish of the day, though. Good juju. I'll let it go. It's a male. Get out of there! Boom! Look at that short little chode guy. All right, cool. I'm gonna go jig now. The camera wasn't on. God damn it. That's frustrating. Look at this. We were over there dicking around because Josh just caught one. And I just caught a bitch grayling. I don't know how you hold a grayling, but look at that. Top fin's all weird. You see that little booger? He's bleeding. I don't know why. He wasn't hardly hooked. It's like a bass. Protected. Looks like a trash fish. Looks like good cup bait. Shit. Well, I caught a damn grayling. That's not the rare species we're going after, though. I, I, was, I jokingly said, I'm going to catch a damn grayling, and then I did. It wasn't a joke, apparently. That was weird. I got one on the edge. Don't move, Cole. It's all right. You spooked him. I did have a faint mark on the swam by i'm positive it's gone now thanks to cole yeah i think it was a school of shad that swam by looks like the whole bottom is pretty much covered with little grass <laughs> yes it is maybe Hey, my camera was actually on for this one. <laughs> it might not be that big. My drag was super loose. Just the way he the Yeah, he just went. He's not the baby kind. 
we got the real drag going now. It's over there. It's big. Yeah, that's, I think that's a cutthroat. It's a big cutthroat, I think. Dude, I think it's thing's cutthroat. huge. I think it's a cutthroat. Oh no, it's a giant rainbow though. Oh my God. <laughs> what? See that though, it's freaking sweet. It's, big, it's bigger than mine. It's gotta be a 19 or a 20. He ain't ready yet. Just when we want to move. A little bit less action, but I mean, what we're catching is cool. Dude, that thing is so cool through the ice. Every fish we hook until we catch a cutthroat. It it's a cutthroat! <laughs> it looked like it over there, though. It was like orange. Oh, it popped off. It's disappointing. It's all right. It's something. At least we saw it. Yeah. It wasn't the mega ultra rare species, but it was like a 21 inch, maybe. Yeah. Inch it's pretty big. Of course, on the hair fly, straight in the hook. That was a good fish though. Squad is rolling through. This is a big one too. He might be in some grass or something. I wonder if he came back and bit or if he was on. I bet he came back. It's big, I didn't see him yet. But is this the ultra rare species? I can see why Cole wasn't very comfortable about this ice. It's way worse right there. That's the bad spot behind you, see it? That's like open. So close Glad we're rubbing tips over here. He's here. It was a pretty one. Looks like a rain. It wasn't huge. Rainbow. No, it's not. It's just an angry guy. No. Thanks for rubbing it in, Josh. He's cool looking. What do we got? Rainbow. Flippy flop, what do we got? Just don't, <laughs> don't lean too close to it, Josh. You might break through. Nah, it's Fighting this fish next to basically open water right behind us there. It was sketchy coming out here anyways, but it appears the bite's picking up. He's so mad. That's pretty big, actually. It's pretty big. It's almost as big as the last one. You're like, oh, that one you lost was only about six inches. Come here, you damn salmon. Big one! You bet. That's uh, a female. That's a fat female sambal Yeah, probably, face. probably 19 inch female. It's murped. It's a derp female. It is. Derp. You hey. Hooked, you hooked, that one wasn't popping off. This one could have stayed on for a month and a half, of course, because <laughs> it wasn't as big. Not quite like the last one we just lost, but that's a, uh, it's a pretty damn good fish anywhere. Fatty patty. Fatty patty. It's going to be delicious patty. Delicious patty. All right. Little measure job on Fatty Patty. My guess is 100. It's almost exactly 19. So, I mean, that's like, we're getting to the point now where we're pretty damn jaded and don't think 19s are that big. <laughs> I'll take it. On what? Gosh! He might still have it, it's slacked. Broke you off, dude. What? Yeah, I was wondering why it was fucking slack. I don't know. Maybe the weight? What was that? I got one! I think it's what we're after. It's just not very big. Maybe. It is! It is! We got one! Just a baby! He's not that yellow either. This right here is the species we were saying is super rare. And the big ones look super freaking cool. This one still looks pretty cool. Yep. But the Yellowstone cutthroat trout cool yeah they're definitely pretty a lot more yellow on the fins of these but he even has this yellow spot on his chin yeah he does that's cool they said 19 is the average so they got to be 16 inches to keep i think this one probably is right near the 15 or 16 inch mark but we don't want to keep these guys the uh the yellowstone cutthroats thick one nice healthy guy good fight get these guys back in he swam away cool okay 
I like it though. Activity level is picking up. It's just weird you can't get... Oh God! That's a wicked pisser! That's on the big rod too. I got you. You want it or you want me to reel it in? You can take it. There he is. It's big. I think it's a grass carp, that or maybe a chain pickerel. I'm not sure. Oh, no, just a bluegill. Fighting fish with the fucking mountains in the background. <laughs> it's just a big old rainbow. It's like this big fish hole right here. Yeah. And we should set some that way. Jeez, bud. Jeez, they fight hard in this lake. <laughs> just very, very angry. Angry one. Or one of the hair That's flies. a plain hook. I have zero more hair flies ever in history. He didn't like that. He didn't want me to touch his face <laughs> yeah. like that. Where'd he go? He's I'm gonna go like, find him. In the mountain. <laughs> he is? He, he locked up? Yeah. Where is he? Oh, Towards there he the is. Surface. Is he? Uh, the, my line is anyway. Yeah, I think that's because he's a mile away. Ice is cracked underneath my feet. A big, this place is cool. This place is Every incredible. Place here is cool, yeah. That's, that's just cool. Not quite as good as catching bluegill, but fun <laughs> still. Mm. Angry. Dirty girl. I think the hand on each side of the face is the way. And oh, then just, yeah. claws. just claws. I we don't need a gaff, we need claw fingers. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> oh, this is a big fighter here, don't you know? We better get him topside. Cole, this is a 12 pound grayling. Mm-hmm. Cole's gonna cut your line. Yep! There it is. Got her! Very, very pretty fish. Back home in Nebraska, I would never, ever, ever. Oh, I gotta get my shoulders loose after shoveling <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Woo! Shoveling out of Narnia. Yes. Here's your large mouth. <laughs> I don't like that one. There's no fish over there. There is right here though. Is this you? Yeah, you take it. Alright. Yeah, you definitely need to need to get one. This is a big rod too, isn't it? Jeebus. If it's a giant cutthroat though, I'm going to be mad. A 31. A 31 inch throat. Yeah. Oh, it's a grayling. Is it? A no. grayling! Cool. That's a little prettier one. It's a little bit bigger one. Too. Yeah, it is. That is a cool looking fish. Thanks for the grayling, Josh. That one's way prettier, Cole. Yeah, we got the right one on film. That is crazy. Good work, bud. I'd say I'm probably pretty dialed on the grayling bite. These guys are out here trying to catch these rare, mysterious Yellowstone cutthroats. I'm living the grayling life. That is freaking cool though, Cole. You gotta admit. Well, it's been real grayling. Sweet. Well, our super active fish that were tripping the jaw jackers about every five minutes have completely vanished and uh, it's been kind of a dead low period. Porn stash just caught two jigging, so he's out doing some exploring. Hopefully we don't hear a splash back behind us pretty soon. There's some really sketchy ice in some places out here. But I thought this would be a great opportunity to uh, kind of go through some comments and pick out my mf -er of the day. I can't believe this guy hasn't been an mf -er of the day so far because he comments on like every single video and has been supporting for a very long time. mf -er of the day today is Pedro Vasquez. My man comments literally every video all the freaking time. Let's read his comment. He says, my man, dope bacon video and he's got some Christmas tree emojis and then a smiley face with sunglasses something about bacon I don't know what that means wifey was struggling a bit out there by the looks of it but keep dropping the dope content my dude this video is a shout out to Pedro Vasquez you are the MF for the day thank you for your support and uh, yeah we're trying to figure out what the hell we're gonna do the next little bit here whether we're gonna move lakes move areas or what go explore I suppose we'll let uh, let Timmy do the exploring and we'll stay dry yeah I can tell because it's like, it's got like the clustery top to it. Josh, watch this. <laughs> Did you see it? Not very thick. <laughs> that thing couldn't even support the weight of the spud bar if he laid it on it. <laughs> Any dice over there, Timmy? Jesus. Who is this guy? Jonathan Trout Jigger over here. Critters on it? There is actually. What is it? They're like little worms. Same shit that those guys were had in their bellies. 
Little wormies. <laughs> Got him! Beauty! Another 19er! Don't you know? Pa pow, pa pow, pow, pa pow, pa pow. Pa pow. <laughs> That'll do her! Just got, the, just got out the water. Uh, we tore them up for a while this morning. Freaking badass catching that Yellowstone cutthroat and the grayling, two graylings. Never have caught a grayling before. Super pretty fish and the scenery is ridiculous. We're out here just hanging out by the base of the mountains on some little ass farm pond that's loaded with bigger trout than we can catch anywhere in, in Brasky Way. So we're going to do some other stuff though. So uh, be sure to check for those videos. Probably tomorrow. So all we do is just make 30, 40 videos a week. Minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this one. I'm first. We'll catch you soon. Out of here. Peace.